What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jay Parasi and thank you very much for joining me. If it is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can join the family. And if you're a returning viewer and a subscriber, thank you very much for joining me once again. <laughs> Today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. This has been a highly requested um, video um, for a very long time, especially on my Instagram. People have been asking me how I edit my vid uh, pictures. I hate to say that because it sounds so cliche. I sound like those people are like, so when people ask me for my skincare routine and this is it, but yeah. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Um, I'm going to put a screen. Uh, um, a video on the side and a step a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I edit my videos I mean my pictures so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribed because if you haven't you're hurting my feelings <laughs> so yeah without wasting any time let's get straight into it and yeah grab your phones and let's go okay so I'm going to open my um, editing folder, um, there's a cat and a fish there because I call it my catfish folder. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first go into Lightroom. Um, so Lightroom I basically use to control the colors of the picture, the tones and all those stuff. And then Facetune I use to like clear out imperfections and just make sure that the picture is of the best quality. So those are the two um, editing uh, softwares or apps that I use primarily. The other ones at the bottom are just to add like um, spills into the photo, like the red thing that I usually like adding to the side of my photos. And um, Photoshop Fix, I downloaded it, I've never used it. I hate Photoshop because it makes it look too artificial. I just forgot to delete it. And then Canva, I used to create my thumbnails, which is a video that I'll do at a later stage. Um, so without wasting any time, I'm going to go straight into um, Facetune. This is the, the free version of Facetune. Um, I don't pay for Facetune because um, I don't understand that why are you paying for apps to edit pictures, you know what I mean? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the retouch um, uh, section, which is the first option there. I'm going to go into retouch. There's auto, there's heal, and there's white, and there's smoothen. We're only going to use uh, whiten and smooth. So we're going to take the white and we're going to just whiten the background just to reduce all the um, yellow tones in the background and make sure that the picture is um, really clear because the yellow tones tend to make the picture look very dirty at the end. Um, it just makes it look unfinished well for me. Um, so you can control how much uh, the white is in the picture by um, increasing or decreasing it over there. Um, so I will leave it at 42. I'm happy with 42. And then there's also smooth. Um, my skin is kind of acting alright that day so I won't really put too much um, smoothening on it um, although maybe I'll just add it over here just to kind of remove the oiliness because I was oily on this day I'll just tap it um, and yeah otherwise I'm happy with it because I don't want when you zoom into my face um, that you won't be able to see my paws and also a thing that I've noticed is my hands always um, get lost in the edit um, they become very fake so I will just swipe um, my finger all over the hand just to smoothen it out because the hand does look edited when you edit so I'm going to decrease the smoothening to 50 and that is perfect um, and then I'm going to save the photo then we're going to move to Lightroom now so I'm gonna just open the picture and there we go here's the photo that we just edited on Facetune I'm gonna there's there's there's, there's a few um, categories that you can choose select when you're editing your photos the first um, four um, categories I don't even look at nor do I look at auto I just look at color and light so we're gonna go into color first. Light, I usually use if like the picture's like really dark and I'll just ha enhance the exposure of the photo. But for this photo, we don't need to, so I'm gonna put it back at zero. So we're gonna go straight to color. Um, a lot of people say Lightroom is hard to use, but I think it's just because they don't understand it. And the gold in Lightroom is a mix. 
don't look at all the other tutorials that they're telling you go to temperature tint it's rubbish you don't want to look orange on your photos because that's not a cool look i'm letting you know now for free so this tutorial is teaching you how to correctly use lightroom so you're going to go into the colors over there the color mix the first color is red um so the red focuses on like your lips and all those stuff i'm sorry for the noise in the background the waist guys are here let's pick up the rubbish and stuff so um i'm gonna go on to the red the red focuses on the lips so if i increase it i'm gonna put the saturation at seven because i don't want the lips to be too red it's gonna look like I'm, i have lipstick on so there's hue saturation and luminous um, i'm only gonna use saturation i usually just use saturation um, the hue makes the picture a bit darker and the luminous makes it a bit lighter um, so I'm gonna do with the red. I put the saturation at plat um, at 14. I'm gonna go into the orange. The orange focuses on your skin. I'm gonna increase the saturation of the orange and put it at like 10. Um, that should be fine because I don't wanna lose the naturalness of the picture. Because if I go all the way, you see now I'm orange. That orange that I told you not to be in the pictures. So I'm gonna put it back at 10 because we want the picture to look as natural as possible. Um, and then. I'm going to go on to yellow. Yellow focuses on the backgrounds, usually where there's white. Um, this is what affects the white. So if there's, if you want your whites to be pure whites, you just decrease the saturation. Um, I'm going to put the saturation at negative 28. Um, and then I'm going to go on to the green. The green focuses on um, the tree in the background, the plant in the background, sorry. So if I want the plant to be more green, or more saturated I'm just gonna increase the green and you can also see the lights are also green so they also get increased um, but because I don't want it to I don't want the background too much but to have too much color I want you to focus on my face and me who's in the foreground of the on the foreground of the picture um, so I'm gonna decrease the saturation put at eight and then I'm gonna go on to cyan or whatever color you call that color I don't know what the correct term is um, and then I'm going to decrease it because I, the, the lights in the back, the LED lights, they've got a little bit of cyan to it. So I just want to decrease the saturation and put it to 46. And then the blue, the blue focuses on the t-shirt over here. Blue and purple are very closely related when it comes to editing photos. I don't know why, but yeah. I'm sure they mix each other in the color wheel. I forgot. I don't know when last I saw the color wheel. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to increase the saturation of the blue. Um, the blue is, the blue also affect, affects the black um, on the t-shirt so I'm just going to increase the saturation of the blue put it at 37 and also the hue this is the only time I touch the hue I'm going to put it at plus 8 and then I'm going to go into purple purple also affects the blue like I said um, and then I'm going to decrease it and put it decrease the hue of purple and put it at 54 and then the pink also focuses on the lips just to give the lips a little bit more color and i'm not liking how my skin isn't looking too saturated so i'm going to add a little bit of the orange i'm going to put it at plus 20. i think i'm happy with the way that looks um yeah so i'm going to add that plus 20 and i'm going to save the photo okay so basically that's how you edit um your photos the first half of editing your photos just to make the photos look a little bit um better um just to give your photos a little bit more color um and then after that i go back to um face tune because now that i've understood the the colors of the picture and all those stuff i'm gonna go back to face tune open the picture on face tune and then this is where i get my sharpness in the pictures i go to detail and shopping so i'm going to go into shop i'm going to first go on to uh, retouch and go into smooth because there's a lot of noise on the blacks i'm going to just decrease that by smoothing the black over there and then putting it at uh, 79 79 looks quite proper and i'm just going to mark it because it's good to save it and go back as you do a step go back because you don't want to perfect one thing and then the rest of the stuff is just a mess and then you have to start all over again so i'm going to go into detail shopping i'm going to zoom into my eyes 
and I'm just gonna tap don't don't drag just tap you see what I'm doing I'm just gonna tap it like that and go over my eye just to give it detail and yeah I'm gonna just go over the a few areas see I went too much into that just gonna make everything show it's important to not over um, smooth in your face because you will look weird trust me you definitely will look weird because no one doesn't have pores even Beyonce has pores so please eh? so yeah I'm just gonna do that and then increase increase it and then save it and then now I'm gonna go into retouch again and I'm gonna go into retouch and go into glow it's all the way at the end and then glow is basically gonna make the blacks more black as you can see when I go over it like that it makes black more black blue more blue And I'm just gonna decrease it a bit and there you go the first round of editing is done then I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna go back to Lightroom and add the same picture that I just edited and I'm gonna go into color and to light I'm gonna go into the blacks so I'm gonna add more black shadows i'm going to decrease the shadows a bit increase the whites and drop the highlights to about there perfect so once i do that all the colors have been dropped and decreased and all those stuff um i've made the picture a little bit sharper just so the picture can have more quality to it because there's nothing worse than a picture of no quality trust me um i honestly believe that your photos must be sharp because i've seen a lot of good photos but they're not sharp enough so yeah that just makes the photo look bad at the end of the day so now we're going to go into an app called um unum um i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but basically this is an app that I use to to see how my photos will look when I put them up on Instagram it basically helps me plan my posts um, so I'm going to go into that app right there and and I'm just going to open the photo I'm going to import the photo it's going to show you your, your feed how your feed looks you're going to have to register and log on to your Instagram put in your Instagram details and it'll open up so as you guys can see there's my instagram already um i'm gonna open i'm gonna press edit i'm gonna click on the photo add it onto the grid and click on the photo and then press edit now i'm gonna go to the second folder the second option here this one over there and i'm gonna click on it and then i'm gonna click on lights so as you see i added the lights over there I'm happy with how it looks I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna go on to dust so if you want to add dust onto your photos that's like you know how people have like those scratches on their photos and stuff I hate how the footage is starting to look now I think it's because the Sun is going down let me just quickly sort it out okay so I'm gonna add the dust um, just gonna decrease it a bit and save it and then once I'm done I'm just gonna say save and it kind of takes a while for you to save this onto your phone um, because it doesn't automatically appear on the grid as how you edited it then I'm gonna go straight back to Lightroom 
there's a lot of back and forth between um, the apps and Lightroom. So I'm gonna go into Lightroom and I'm gonna go back to orange, which is my skin, just to give my skin a little bit more of color. I'm gonna add some orange. So yeah, and then I'm gonna put it side by side with my Instagram photo so you guys can see the one that I posted. And voila. Okay, this time I didn't add that much orange, but you can play around with the orange until it's to your liking. But there you go, that is how the picture looks. That's how you edit your Instagram. That's how I edit my Instagram photos. I don't know, it's not focusing. But that's how it looks at the end, completely identical. Um, so yeah, that is how I edit my Instagram photos. Um, I've shown you how to edit a selfie and in the next video I will show you guys how I edit photos where there's like a lot of loud background backgrounds um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel turn on notifications so you can get notified every single time I post a new video and till next time peace out